this is the uh, pfSense firewall running on 272 release, 64 bit. And I have two interfaces. One is the WAN interface with an IP of 14140.40.109. And the LAN interface, which is having an IP of 192.168.0.109, which will connect to the SNMP manager. So uh, let's get started. Click on service, click on SNMP. You will land up in a page where you can configure SNMP, but by default, you will not see the option of SNMP version three. So to configure SNMP version three, you will have to install the custom package by clicking on system, go to package manager, click on available packages, and then try to search SNMP here. Now you can see the first package with the name net SNMP. I'm going to use this particular package. Click confirm. Package is installed successfully. You can click on install package, which will show you the installed package on this particular PFSense fiber. Now, if you click on services, you will see SNMP, net SNMP. If you click this particular option, SNMP, net SNMP, you will see this particular page, which will have the general configuration for SNMP. So enable the SNMP service and the interface binding. You can select UDP, TCP based on the SNMP manager configuration. I'm going with the default settings, which is the UDP on port 161, 162. And the IP address for the interface is going to be 192.168.0.109. This is the IP address configured on my LAN interface, which is going to connect to the SNMP manager. And if you have additional interfaces, you can uh, click add and enter the details. Engine ID, most of the firewall takes the serial number or the device ID as the engine ID. For example, Palo Alto firewall. If you want to configure it, then you have other options as well. Let's try to save this configuration. Now comes the host information. I have entered the location as TX, contact as uh, 12345678, name as BFSense, description BFSense. And rest of the information is the default version of the configuration file. Let's try to save this. Now you will have to create the user for the SNMP version three. For example, here in my case, you can see I have already created it. I think it is retrieving the previously configured data. Let me try to create a new one for you for the demonstration. Click on add. I'm going to use the username as SNMP. Entry type is going to be USM, user entry or TSM, certificate mapping as per your SNMP manager configuration. In my case, SNMP manager is uh, 
configured to use user entry USM mode. So I'm going to keep it as user entry. Description, let it be blank. And here it comes the SNMP version access control for SNMP version three. So I'm going to give uh, read write both. And if you want to restrict the user, then you can basically add the OIDs, object IDs here. And if there is no OIDs uh, entered here, which means uh, it'll give you the full access. Now the next action is the SNMP version three USM user configuration. Um, authentication I have given as SHA based on the configuration that I have on my SNMP manager. Let me try to put the password as password. I have given password one as the password for the authentication type SHA. Privacy protocol, I have given it as AES passphrase again. I have given it as password two. So one password is for the authentication purpose. Another password is for the privacy purpose where you are using AES, which needs the passphrase. And minimum USM security level, I have given it as private. Well, you can define your own attribute here. Now comes the next section, which is SNMP version three certificate mapping information. Well, in my case, I'm not, not using any certificate based um, connection. So I'm going to leave it as blank. But if you have any SNMP version three certificate mapping, then you can basically put the information here. So user configuration and then the access control configuration and the user configuration here that completes the user creation. Community is not required in SNMP version three. And the next tab is for the trap generation where the firewall will generate the system specific information and will send it to the SNMP manager. So in the trap, you will have SNMP version one trap, version two trap, version three trap. So you can go to SNMP version three and then enter the sync which is of a target host. In my case, the SNMP manager is 192.168.0.12 and the SNMP user, which will auto populate itself here once you have the user created and the security level for this connection. So either you can go for authenticated or you can go for private, which is encryption required, or you can go unauthenticated. And you can put the port as well. So that's all that you will be configuring in the trap generation. Click save. So now most of the configuration is saved. We are good to proceed to the client machine where we can test the configuration like the one that we have configured here. So we'll have to match the configuration from the SNMP tab here on the PF Sense firewall onto our SNMP manager. So this is the Windows 10 machine running the SNMP manager, which is a free tool, manage engine. And um, the step remains the same on most of the SNMP manager tool. Click on edit. Click on settings. So you can click on SNMP version three here. Keep the values default or you can tweak it. I guess I already have some of the configuration in place. So to avoid delay, I'm gonna show you what I have here. So you can see here the target host 192.168.0.109, which is the PFSense firewall. LAN interface. 
and the target port is 161 username is snmp like the one that we created inside snmp net snmp package here is the username and then the authentication protocol is sha authentication password is the one that we configured password one protocol privacy protocol is aes let us try to set the password if you have the manage intent you can configure that else uh, you can keep it empty So the configuration is saved. Now let's try to fetch some information from the PFSense firewall. Let me try to start the Wireshark so that we can capture the data. So now under system hierarchy, I'm going to get the system description. You can see here, description of the system is set to pfSense in the host information. Let me try to fetch the uptime. So you can see here, uptime is this one, three minutes. Let me try to fetch the name. All the names are fetched. You can see the OIDs as well. Let me try to do a SNMP walk. So you can see here, SNMP walk is also working fine. Now let's try to check the washer capture. So this is the SNMP traffic from the SNMP manager.12 to SNMP agent which is the pfsense firewall 192.168.0.109 expand the snmp you will see the snmp version snmp version 3 authentication hash engine ids encrypted data basically we have configured the option of encryption and authentication as well and um, you have the option of choosing if you would like to do authentication only or encryption only or encryption only no authentication is also possible so if you see here you have the option of authentication privacy authentication no privacy no authentication no privacy so you have the option of configuring these three parameters in your snmp manager but in my case, I have given authentication privacy both so that I can demonstrate the working. And uh, yeah, that's all. Everything seems to be working fine as per the configuration that we have. That's all in this video. And please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. See you in the next one.